Hey guys, Desolar Magic here, and it's time to test out my amazing new deck, Doggo and Mittens. Like, it's not that amazing. It's actually not even that creative. But um, I'm going up against, of course, Des's brother. And um, uh, he's running the Cyborgs deck, because that's just a good testing deck. Um, I went up against Blizzard and went to turn 37, so that was fun. I did win, though. Uh, let's see, so we got Planes, we got Forsaken, we got a Never Return, that's always good, um, and a Monument, I mean, that's pretty darn good, except that I'm not going first, oh look, Goggles. Alright, let's see, let's go Forsaken, uh, don't need the turn one mana, which means that a lot of the come and tap lands don't mean in, well, anything. Uh, here we go, and you can't do much before turn two, that's the problem, unless you get one of these seven two cost, uh, spells. Oh, there it is. Thank God I pulled it. And, of course, it comes in tap, so I can't do anything. I hate slow decks. But the sideboard contains early kill spells, so it's not that slow. Um, honestly, Campbell would probably just outright kill them almost single-handedly. Uh, Bantu would be nice. It's always good turn three. But I cannot let this guy start wearing anything. So, bye-bye. <laughs> There we go. They do only have four cards in hand. That's the problem with equipment decks right now. <laughs> that and uh, just drawing creatures at all, apparently. Uh, let's see. Oh, Ketras would be nice. That would be nice. Er, the problem is if I spend three on that, none of my creatures are reduced to one. So, whatever. Gotta get it out. That's what the kill spells are for. All right. Uh, we got a Poisoner, which I could now not cast for one, unfortunately, but with Bantus I can. So white, white, mixed, leaving the black. This gets reduced. Boom, right there. And then we got the trigger and the trigger. There we go. And the trigger. Forgot about the third one there. Alrighty then. Oh, out of creatures. Drawing garbage. Good job. Um, any additional monuments or dead cards, but whatever. I got both out. That's very rare. So, right now, Cliffhaven costs two. And right now, yeah, yeah, create the token. Uh, Campbell costs two. That's funny to me. All right, there we go. So you can see with all the triggers, 23 to 16, haven't even swung yet. Probably should. Yeah, create a servo. Hell yeah, that's the point of that creature. Actually, the point of the creature is a death toucher, but, uh... Oh, Stonehaven. Ooh. And 8-7. You guys can see why I like that Cyborgs deck, but honestly, I've never seen this bad of equipment in a standard pool this big ever. I mean, like, equipment is such garbage, but if you think about how broken equipment would be with the level of creatures, oh my gosh. So, if they're running, like, a kind of creature light deck, like a black white um planeswalker heavy removal control deck yeah you're gonna shred them because you know bye bye <laughs> there was a death trigger on that and eh, whatever um don't really care and i shouldn't be able to just swing like this but i can so all right they're at five and that's why you know it's almost like the less creatures and the more control spells the better um, because you're just going to get their crap out of the way and win sooner. But with all these triggers, um, I should be good. I mean, well, let's go Cliffhaven first. Okay, there's that. And then there's the Amplified Trigger. Then we'll bring out Pius, which by himself has a pretty killer trigger. And I might actually kill them. Yeah, I did. So let's try that one more time. Okay, guys, I'm going up against a much tougher opponent this time. Well, not really opponent. It's still an idiot, uh, the computer, but uh, really easy deck for the computer to run. It's hard to screw it up. You guys will see which one it is. So we got land, land, land. Love that. Uh, monument, monument, non-matching plus a turn two. Oh, my God, and two death triggers. Y'all yeah, be keeping that, thanks. Um, don't need turn one mana. That's why this uh, land is not that bad. There we go. Then we got concealed. Why not? Throw to Zulaport. Yay. Going first is so much different than going second, especially against a red speed deck. I honestly probably should have blocked and killed him, but my life total is not important. Not in this deck. So we need some more mittens kittens. So, th whoops. Yeah, why the hell not? I'm not going to block anyway. Uh, let's see. Oh, invigorated. Oh, here comes six damage. That card is vicious. It was trample anyway. Um, yeah, let's drop this, and let's see if I did this, it would be reduced by, yeah, not enough, okay. There we go. 
And there's the trigger. You can see, cast a creature spell. There's a warrior. And I gain life off the first one. So back up to 16. And this is almost impossible to swing against on, what is this, turn four? I mean, geez. <laughs> like, I almost feel bad for the opponent. Uh, here we go. So you either get removal spells or you get so many creatures they just don't care. Oh, God. Here we go. 6-1 Trample. That is worth killing. I don't care what anybody says. Bye-bye. All right. Even with Trample, that was so satisfying. All right. Okay. Don't need that. Um, don't need another Oketras. Could use a Bond, too. That's always good fun. And uh, let's do this. So pay 1-2 and sacrifice a Plains because I'm almost done using mana. And there you go. You got your Death Trigger. And the way they phrase this one is just deeply annoying. Um... So two one eh, I'll keep them. I'm not gonna swing yet. Even with the death trigger, you'll see what I mean when a creature dies. It is so obnoxious. Uh, oh, another Zula port. Oh, and don't forget the reduced cost. I know I would have. Okay, there we go. And there's all the all the triggers. Trigger, 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 trigger. Um, let's have some fun. Pious, one two. Sacrifice a warrior. There's death trigger, death trigger, death trigger. Oh, I have to see. Here's the thing target opponent loses one life, and I gain one life. So every single time I have to target it. Oh my god, is that annoying? Okay, swing with him just to get one of theirs killed and to get one of mine killed. Oh, look at all these triggers. Isn't that fun? Select opponent, select an opponent. Who do you think? Maybe the only opponent that qualifies, maybe? I can't choose myself. Okay, so I'm at 22, they're at 9, and I'm just shutting them down, and that's what this deck does. Even with zero kill spells against a super hyperspeed red boost ambush deck, I'm still winning almost exclusively with creatures. I mean, what the hell? I didn't even have to get out my flyers. I mean, this deck is just powerful. So I need him to have Vigilance because he's a big blocker. This will be fun. Here we go. Um, let's just bring everybody. I don't even care who dies at this point. The more people that die, the better. There we go. That's why, by the way, if you're wondering why I said that. <sighs> Select an opponent, 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 opponent. There we go. All right. Boom, 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 boom. There. Uh, before I even hit him, they're at zero. <laughs> that is funny. I guess we'll try one more. That was hilarious. All right. No more messing around. I gave the Blizzard deck to the opponent. So, um, yeah, I don't think six lands in an Oketra is going to do it. Um... Oh, look, no lands. This is so realistic. What a great simulator. Uh, land, 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 removal, removal creature. Sure. Uh, do I want that? Yeah, hell yeah, I do. All right. Oh, good. What a wonderful first turn move. Never seen that. Um, there we go. Put in Shamley because I don't care about mana until about turn three. Yeah, yeah. Hit me with your one. At least it's not a freaking three one. Um, 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 doesn't matter really. Oh, he's annoying. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought he was the one that got bigger when they have a artifact. Guess not. All right, Westvale and I think Pius would be more of a swing deterrent. I mean, they're probably honestly still gonna swing. Probably not with Thrabin though. Uh, but I did gain a life off that, so I'll take one more hit from Audacious. Oh God, Glory Bound. You can see why this creature flood deck is actually pretty damn good, um, because it's, what, turn four, and they're like, oh, we're just gonna run you over. Uh, all the removal in the world can't stop that, especially with the current cost, but guess what? Guess who just qualified for a giant creature? Me. Alright, gain a life off it coming in, which is always nice. Oh, good, just on time. And they're not swinging, because they know they'd lose one creature at a time. I might have attempted to if I were the player, but whatever. Um, I do not want them swinging with this pile of crap, though. That's for damn sure. Bye-bye. Now, I'm going to open my graveyard to remind myself that that's there, but I'm not going to use that anytime soon. Now, obviously, I'm not going to start swinging with Cliffhaven. I'm at 17 there at 19, and the counter swing would be not worth it. Oh, gave it to the wrong creature. Good job. All right. That would have been detrimental. Um, I would love to kill Glorybound right now, I just don't need to. I'd rather amplify my triggers, get all three of these out. Oh, there we go, and they're getting drained away, so now when I cast it next time, it's gonna be, like, insane. Um, and they can't swing against four, unless they boost. And Glorybound, I mean, okay, but I'm not sure if they're smart enough. 
Oh, great, a 4-2 first striker. And a fifth cre sixth, one, two, yeah, sixth creature. Awesome. You know, if I were you, I would have swung. Eh, computer's an idiot. All right. Um, you know what? I'm sick of waiting. That's fun. Oh, that's right. Um, got four left, so it doesn't really matter. All right, there we go. And there's the triple trigger. Ouch. I'm surprised it didn't ask me how to stack those, because I thought it would, but whatever. Uh, now he might be casting Return. Ooh, he's gaining 10 life. Yeah, Blighted Step. That deck is no freaking joke. If you're on a budget, build Blizzard. Um, yeah, Pious would be nice. It's a shame I don't really have anything to sack necessarily, but I kind of do. Ouch! Oh, that's a shame. I'm thinking about not flipping Pious because honestly the probability of one of these dying is like non-existent. So I am going to queue up though. Let's get rid of one of his cards. I don't care. He can't bring him back. Here we go. I'm going to queue up a kill trigger. There we go. Or a target I should say. Oh and there's... Oh my gosh. It's now 20 to 12 after 6 triggers. Ouch. Okay next turn might honestly be close to lethal and there's just nothing he could do he cannot swing against us he would lose his whole damn line uh the funny thing is i don't whoops actually have death triggers i don't know him it really doesn't matter um i accidentally pulled a mana so might as well accidentally pull another mana and <laughs> boom boom there we go uh sacrifice this planes because who cares and flip them there we go so now whenever any creature dies on my side, I gain a life and he loses a life, and then three additional triggers. So, not very nice at all. Uh, the question is, should I animate this? I think I'll lose it, but, like, that's cool. Um, I almost should flip the other Pious first, but at this point I'm kind of going for speed. Because I know he could pull a board wipe, like, I know it's not in the deck. Um, and I really don't care about counter swings, so... Oh, that's right, I was going to sack the zombie, and then I just realized I didn't need my damn land. So let's bring him, 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 and him. And that's it. And then... Oh, immolating! Oh, that's not very nice. Not very nice at all. Ouch. There we go, got to select an opponent on that trigger. Another one! Oh, that is so mean! Oh, what a dick. I guess he was waiting for me to swing. <laughs> I should have assumed, even if this wasn't the computer and this wasn't a deck I built, that still, you know, they have a blessed or an immolating. Well, whatever. They're getting triggered to death. Um, 25 to 3. Getting triggered to death like a, like an SJW. Oh, gear shift. Nice. Another first striker. Too bad you can't... Well, okay. If, if I were them, I would have maybe swung, but 25 to 3, maybe I wouldn't have. <laughs> Hard to say. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's have a little fun here. So there's the energy, there's the life gain, and they get pinged again. But I'm going to wait. I know I could swing for lethal in the air, but why? There we go. All right, here we go. You ready for this? You guys already know what I'm doing. Boom! One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Oh, shoot, he's going to lose just based on the death triggers. Oh, that's a shame. I wanted to kill him with Ormondal. Damn it. Wish I could have declined the triggers. So anyway, you can see this deck just beats everything. Speed, slow, anything. I mean, you're going to get really, like, nuked because of a board wipe if you do so. Or if your opponent does so. But um, still, I mean, death triggers and you'll probably be at, like, 30, 35 health. So you can probably come back from it. So this deck just... It just kind of utility beats everything in its way. I'm sure, you know, a Hedron alignment deck would probably beat it or something weird like that. Um, but you could probably sideboard your way out of some some pretty obscure stuff, especially with this color mix. I mean, come on, white-black can do just about anything. So if this deck looks fun, like I said, it's probably 30 bucks tops to build this. I mean, I know Shamblings are actually kind of expensive. A is just not even necessary for the damn deck. Um, I don't know, Anguished is kind of expensive like two three bucks i mean nothing's outrageous there's no like twenty dollar cards in here so yeah i mean i would build it if it looks fun if it looks like it'll beat everybody in your local area why not so i'll see you guys next video